Hey everyone, it's the Pepper Ranger. And today I'm going to show you how I start all my seeds by using the paper towel method. Um, super simple, anyone can do it. Uh, supplies you need are scissors. I use them to cut the paper towel. Not necessary, but um, you don't need an entire paper towel. You need your seeds, obviously. Ziploc bags. Paper towel. Spray bottle, yep, not 100% necessary, but I like it. And then something to mark your bags with. I already uh, pre-did that. So let's get started. So first, um, our paper, towel, paper towels are the ones that come off in sections like this, which I think are perfect. So all I do is fold it in half that way. And then again, Go ahead and cut it right down the middle. So now you have two equal little bits of paper towel there. Give it a good spray on all sides. You don't wanna soak it, but you wanna make sure it's wet. You don't wanna really be able to wring it out. And then all you do next is drop in your seeds. So these I got from Justin Platt. They're Peruvian white bullet habaneros. Super cool variety. But yeah, so you just throw on however many you want. And then I usually like to give another spray on each seed just to make sure they're coated nicely. Fold it over. Give it just another little spray where the seeds are. And then throw it in your bag. Some people say to leave the bag uh, open to let some oxygen in there. Um, I don't, I always seal it. Seems like there's plenty of oxygen in there, enough for them to germinate anyway. So just go ahead and seal it up. Um, so we'll do this one now. This is my Bohemian goat uh, seeds that I pulled from a couple of uh, really cool looking pods last year. Super bumpy and they had a tail, which um, isn't extremely common with, with this variety. So I save seeds and uh, we'll see if we can get that trait to grow out. Damien goat is one of my favorite peppers. Seeds aren't cooperating with me. So again, just get another nice little spritz. If you don't have a spray bottle, that's fine. Just uh, wet your paper, to paper towel underneath the faucet. You can just use regular water. That's what I use. Soak it and then kind of wring it out so that it's not you know, sopping wet. And then go ahead and plant your seeds. And then put a little drop of water on each seed that way stays nice and wet. So yeah, next thing to do uh, after that is just find an area of your house um, where it stays a consistent temperature, because that's one thing you want uh, when starting seeds is consistency. So a consistent temperature is a big thing, and then uh, consistent moisture. So place I like, I mean, you probably don't need to put any more water in these bags. Um, unless they're taking super long to germinate and they're in a really warm place. You don't want it to get anywhere above like 90 degrees uh, Fahrenheit um, for germinating. So that sweet spot anywhere from 70 to 85 is what I like. Um, I throw mine mostly on the top of my hot water heater in my utility closet. It stays warm in there, uh, but not too warm. You do not need light for germination. 
Uh, so it can be a, you know, a place that's, that's dark. Uh, the only time you need light is when it, for when it sprouts, obviously. Um, but yeah, so yeah, a uh, few pace, places I like are utility closet on top of my arrow garden. If you have an arrow garden on top of the light, it's perfect. Uh, people use top of the refrigerator. But yeah, anywhere that's gonna stay a consistent temperature, uh, that's a huge, huge deal. Um, you can get heat, heat uh, mats if you want. Um, but yeah, for the most part, they'll, I mean, they'll germinate at room temperature, whatever that is at your house. I keep mine at about 68. They'll germinate at that. It just might take a little bit longer. So the, the warmer they are, uh, the faster that process is. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope it was simple. Hope I didn't make it too complicated. Um, but yeah, that is how I germinate. And what's cool is you don't have to keep digging through the soil if you're impatient. Cause I know a lot of new growers are super impatient. A um, few days after you can just hold it up to the light and uh, check to see if it's got any tails. And at that point you just transplant them out. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna show you what they look like with the tails and uh, what happens when you leave them a little bit too long. All right, so these are my gator jigsaw seeds. Uh, just threw a bunch of them in uh, just to see germination rates and I have a ton, so I don't really care if I lose some. But this guy right here, once it gets to that, that's when, you, that's when I usually transplant them out of the paper towel and into a uh, double cup. I'll make a video on that uh, here in a little bit. But what you don't want is when they grow <laughs> to be almost uh, time for their second leaves. Um, you can let it get to, you know, where they just start popping out. And occasionally you should be able to, you know, pick them off the uh, paper towel. But sometimes they just go straight into the paper towel and by removing them, you're just going to disturb the roots and might not survive after that. So definitely I recommend taking them up before that. But yeah, that's the paper towel method. Um, it's great for impatient uh, pepper growers because you can see exactly when your pepper sprouts. Uh, no more guessing game. Um, so yeah, I really enjoy it. It's worked for me so far and uh, I'm gonna continue to do it. So hope you guys liked the video. If you could give me a like, subscribe, um, I'd appreciate it. Tell your friends, uh, hop in that Pepper Lovers Discord, and uh, hope to see you around. Take it easy.